Today, we're doing a review of the GORUCK GR1 26 liter. In this review, I'm gonna show you everything that you need to know about this bag to decide if it's the bag for you. Full clamshell style opening, bomb proof laptop compartment, thickest, baviest shoulder straps, water bottle holder lists. But if it's not, don't worry, I'm gonna make some alternative recommendations for bags that might better suit your needs. But first things first, to the review desk we go. Okay, let's start by talking about the gist of the GORUCK GR1 26 liter backpack. GORUCK is absolutely iconic in the backpack carry community. Reason being is they're just known for building bags that are just, have next level construction and durability, and they're made in the US, and they got really high price points. This is the GR1, which actually comes in two sizes, the 26 liter, is the one we're talking about, but we also have the 21 liter. And I'll be sure to link to the 21 liter review in the description below if you wanna find more information about this bag. And one other thing to note about the GR1 26 liter that we're reviewing is the material is a waxed canvas that currently is not available. It's not quite a limited edition. This is just kind of what GORUCK does. They introduce new materials, then those go out of stock, and they have a new one to replace that. But really the bag is basically the exact same. The biggest difference is gonna be the lack of the mole attachment points on the shoulder strap straps and on the front, which in my opinion, I love this. I much prefer this cleaner look. Some of the bag's top features, a diagonal quick access pocket in the front, full clamshell style opening, a bit of organization in the main compartment, a self advertised bomb proof laptop compartment, craziest, thickest, beefiest shoulder straps mine eyes have ever seen. I got a lot to say about these guys couple chapters from now. As of recording, the GR1 26 liter comes in five different colors slash fabric options, but like I said, those are constantly being revolved. But what should stay consistent is the size. The dimensions are around 20 inches height, 13 and a half inches width, and a depth of around five inches. 26 liters is an interesting size. For my needs, it's way too big for everyday carry. But for some people, I, I, I read every comment ever made on this channel, and some people need 24, 25, 26 liters for everyday carry. But for me, 26 liters is definitely a great size for weekend trips. But due to the weight and, and bulkiness of this thing, I don't know if I'd use it as a travel bag. We'll talk about that more a bit in a few chapters. Now, GORUCK advertises the 26 liter to weigh 3.1 pounds, but I have a sneaking suspicion the waxed canvas version is going to be heavier. So if you're considering the waxed canvas version, it does weigh 3.8 pounds, which for a 26 liter, that's heavy. 3.1 is definitely preferable. This is the bag when it's empty. And this is the bag when it's fully packed out on the streets of Hong Kong. For reference, I'm five foot eight and our media manager, Margaret, is five foot two. And don't worry, I'm gonna pack this bag out throughout the entire review so you can see exactly what it fits. As for a warranty, GORUCK's got one of the best warranties in the game. It's called like their Scars for Life guarantee. And basically it just means it doesn't matter what happens to the bag or whose fault it is, just send it to GORUCK and they'll repair it or send you a new one. And that warranty is huge because it kind of helps to rationalize the very expensive price point, which is a, a, a whopping 400 US dollars. Putting that into context, it's made in the USA. It's incredibly well put together. And that warranty is like really impressive. And if at any point in this review, you agree with me, you're like, Aaron, 400, that's a deal. I would have paid double. <laughs> Go wreck what idiots. They should have charged 800 for that bag. Score. And if you're gonna make a purchase, we do ask that you do so using the first link in the description below. Reason being that link makes sure that you get the best price. And we oftentimes have discount codes. And that link also helps to support the Nomads Nation channel and team. So we can keep making the best freaking bag reviews on the web. Thank you very much. All right, let's talk about the front of the GORUCK GR1 26 liter. First up, let's talk about patches. Cause I'm really into the bag carry community. There's like a divide between patch people and non-patch people. And if you're a part of the patch people, if that's your tribe, then you're gonna love GORUCK because you got this little, you know, hairy square right here. And that's just whoosh, ideal to throw a patch. Now, this bag was lent to me by a member of the community here in Hong Kong, and they said that there was a GORUCK patch that was sold with the bag, but they lost it. But if you're a patch person, you're on this side of the table, that means you can just throw whatever patch you want there. But if you're not a patch person like myself, it just means you got like this like kind of hairy, random spot in the bag that's just kind of chilling there, or like really br loud branding from GORUCK. I don't know. Where are you in this divide? Are you on team patch or team not patch? Wanna hear your thoughts in the comments below. 
But from here, let's talk about the primary fabric, which I'm gonna rant on slightly for a second. Cause like I said, the version that we have is the wax canvas and it's not available right now. And I don't know when it will be available. So I'm gonna bring out the 21 liter, which actually uses the normal material, which is 1000 Cordura. Real fast on wax canvas. It's a classic material. It's a bit on the heavier side and it develops its own patina or patina, tomato, tomato. And you can see right there how it carries the mark of your journey, which some people just love that. I like it. I do, I wax canvas is really been growing on me. But if you're getting a GR1 26 liter, it's probably gonna have a material more like this, the 1000D Cordura. Allow me to engage my magnifying glass. And you can see the 1000D Cordura, beautiful weave, no frizzing, no loose little hairs anywhere. And compared to like polyester, this nylon is woven in a way where the water's just gonna kind of glide right off of it as opposed to being absorbed. But Gorex got these available on X-Pack, Dyneema, the material selection never ends. And if you think to yourself, wow, this dude, he likes, he's talking about fabrics for like 12 minutes now. Is he gonna shut up? No, I won't. Cause I'm sorry. I just really, really, really like backpacks and fabrics is one of the most important parts of a backpack, which is why for the bag that I'm building, like I'm putting next level fabrics in there that like the bag world has never seen before. And yes, yeah, surprise, I'm not sure if you know, but I'm actually am building my own bag. After reviewing hundreds, I was inspired to, I'm like, let's do it, you know? But not only am I building a bag, I'm actually documenting the entire process here on the Nomads Nation YouTube channel. So if you wanna sort of watch in real time me build this bag, and if you wanna help vote on some of the key features, be sure to check out the second link in the description below. That link will tell you where we are in the building a backpack project and how you can get involved. I hope to see you in your inbox. Back to this guy. Last note on the front, let's talk about some quick access. Got this diagonal pocket right here. It should be noted, this is a very minimalist bag. There's no side pockets and back pockets and water bottles. We'll talk about that in a second. So, you know, this is really the only spot minus on the top where you can put something that you can quickly grab. For me, it's a good spot for like over the head headphones. My Sony XMH5s fit in there with plenty of room to spare. But for reference, let's just say you got a big old hoodie. Let's see if it passes the hoodie test. It definitely will. Oh yeah, it's got a bit of that Prego look, but I like front pockets that are super versatile like this because it gives you additional capacity for those times that you need it, even though you're kind of got like the, the expecting go ruck. You're glowing, <laughs> you really are, you're glowing. And one last note about this pocket, it does have a rain flap to help protect it against the elements. And go ruck uses YKK zippers, non-PU coated, but let me tell you at $400 a backpack, they better be using YKK zippers. Moving on, let's talk about the middle of the GORUCK GR1 26 liter. On the bottom of my version, we have a leather base, which helps the bag self-stand, kind of. Also adds the aesthetic and the weight, but it should be noted this is not like a very great self-standing bag. It is more so when it's fully packed out though. Let's look at these sides though. Clean, flush, minimalist, and water bottle holderless. Which weight, wait for it, mm-hmm. It's officially happened. Around 48% of the people that were watching this review have left. There's only us now. But the reason for that is that people just love water bottle holders on backpacks. They're very convenient, they're very functional. Don't get me wrong, I love the flushness of this. I, it's not a requirement for me, but for some people it definitely is. What about for you? Is this a deal breaker on a backpack? Would you prefer it, but you'll still kind of grit your teeth and buy it? I wanna hear your thoughts on water bottle holders in backpacks, comments below, let me know. And then moving up to the top, we got a nice top handle. My version has leather. Leather and wax canvas go together like, like french fries and sriracha. You ever dipped your french fries in sriracha? It's just, it's a magical combination, just like this. We've got a little bit of grabbing room underneath there. But one thing that GORUCK does so well is look at the stitching here, the reinforcement, right? This handle ain't popping out anytime soon. This is a part of GORUCK's brand. It's just like, God, this bag is going to last longer than you probably will. Let's get into the main compartment. On par with like that tactical manliness, we got these chunky number 10 YKK zippers that get you into the main compartment. The zipper pullers themselves have a plastic end and a knot overall, it all works really well. And you can see, we're in. Let's start on the flap side. You got one, two pockets. Mesh pocket at the bottom, non-elastic mesh, but feels really durable. Like, yeah, that's, that's, that's some strong mesh right there. And then a concealed top pocket. For me, I'm gonna throw a small B7 size notebook. It's passport sized and some AirPods in the top. And then for a bit more organization, I'm gonna throw my umbrella in the mesh pocket, packable tote from Day Owl. 
This pocket can handle some bulkier bits of gear, which is nice. And you know what, I'm gonna throw these excess cables in the top as well. Overall, the organization is quite minimalist, but for me, that works. I don't need a lot of pockets in my main compartment. Other side, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six times one, two, three, which is 18 mole attachment points, which seems like a lot of mole attachment points um, for the inside of the bag. But if you need 18, they're there. And then this expansion slash compression flat pocket. This pocket, I'm gonna throw my uh, moleskin notebook and a Kindle reader. I like this pocket for some tech gear because it's got a little bit of padding to it. Not much, but like it just feels safe and secure there. And yeah, it's kind of loaded up. For me, 26 liter, like I said, I never use for everyday carry. I go on like a weekend trip with it. So let's do some travel stuff. Let's do it. Let's go. I got a week's worth of clothes in an air packing cube. Hoodie, top kit, big old laptop charger, tripod. Let's see how this works. Start with the packing cube at the bottom. Gives the bag a nice firm base. Fits really nicely in there. Dop kit, hoodie. Throw the uh, laptop charger in the back with that tech stuff. Tripod. And because of the minimalism of this bag, there's no pockets taking up depth or space. So closing up, you know, a week's worth of travel stuff in a 26 liter, you know, it's, it's, it's no problemo. It's a piece of cake. And then the last note for this chapter is this sort of quick access top pocket. Great spot for your shades. Slide them on in, zip it up, and uh, that's it. Let's talk about the back of the GORUCK GR1 26 liter. Let's start with what GORUCK claims to be a bomb proof laptop compartment, which God, as someone, as a marketer, that's just great marketing. It's not 100% true, I don't think. I'm not gonna test that. I don't have the means to test that, but it's probably also not far off because holy moly, I mean, this is a laptop compartment. We've got padding on both sides, especially on this back panel. And on the website, it says it can fit up to most 16 inch laptops. So my 13 inch MacBook Pro, fits very snugly and you can see it kind of fits into that corner right there. But as opposed to some larger laptop compartments that where it feels like it swallows the laptop in a bad way, I feel like this swallows the laptop in a good way. It's just like there. It's just like, it's like safe. You're gonna be okay, little guy. But on the negative side, the laptop compartment has no PU coating for weather resistance. And it's in a very strange location where it's sort of behind the shoulder straps, which A is good because it adds security. Cause if like, I don't know, someone's getting some crazy ideas, like I'm gonna steal their laptop. Like, you know, it puts somewhat of a deterrent there. But then when you're trying to get your own laptop, it also puts somewhat of a deterrent there. So you gotta kind of do this and like, kind of like, you know, the, the shoulder straps are in the way. Let's talk about one of my favorite things in this bag, these, these, these dudes. And just like this top handle, which is sewn in like a madman. Same thing with these shoulder straps. I mean, look at this reinforced stitching from the X's to the squares and the lines. I mean, these shoulder straps, they aren't going anywhere. Where are you going? Nowhere. But also the craziest thing about these shoulder straps is their width. I mean, these are almost eight centimeters, which is easily the widest shoulder straps I ever done measured. And I measured a lot of damn shoulder straps in my day. But that's the selling point of these shoulder straps is their comfort. More width equals more fair, even distribution on your chest. No shoulder straps like cutting into you. And also they just have so much padding. It's like a crazy amount of beautiful pattiness. Don't get me wrong, like for some people, like my sister, you know, she doesn't like big shoulder straps because they're like, they're oppressively big and they're just like on those hot summer days, you feel them. But for me, that additional comfort just really goes a long way. And speaking of comfort, we're gonna jump outside with this bag on in just a second. Two more quick notes. One, go Ruck, you Why do you never put a dangle stopper, AKA a web holder on your shoulder straps? Then this is flopping all over the place. Show the C-roll where I'm like doing that. Yeah, that's me being annoyed. Sure, you can buy your own, but I don't want to at 400 USD. I want it included in the bag. And then the back panel itself, we got some ventilation cuts. Decent padding. And when it's all put together and fully packed out and worn on the streets of Hong Kong, what does it feel like? Let's go to Aaron 30 minutes from now to find out. So when it comes to like the comfort, I've been walking around with this bag for 20 minutes now, fully packed out. And these GORUCK bags, they just feel different in the best way possible. Could I use a bit more maybe padding or ventilation on the back panel? Sure. But these shoulder straps are freaking magical. They're beefy and they're big, but the padding, it's just really comfortable. I've heard some complaints that the 26 liter spreads a little too far with the shoulder straps, but for me, it's been fine. I could use a sternum strap. That would definitely be preferred on a bag of this size, but that aside, I mean, comfort's like a, for these shoulder straps, 
10 out of 10. Back to you in the office. All right, time to discuss the overall pros and the overall cons of the GORUCK GR1 26 liter. Pro number one is its insanely durable build and construction and sewing. Pro number two would be just how protective this laptop compartment actually is. And pro number three for me, just these shoulder straps, they just feel great. They feel different and they just, they just feel great. But don't you worry, I ain't no GORUCK fanboy. I don't know where my Southern accent came from, but I'm, 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 I'm going with it. I'm over caffeinated, I'm sorry. Con number one is gonna be a lack of any PU coated zippers, especially on the back laptop compartment. Con number two is the lack of water bottle holders. Why did I do that? And con number three is this waxed canvas version uh, is quite heavy. But if you're still here, there's a good chance that you're like, I don't need the water bottle holders. I don't need it to be light. I don't need PU coated zippers. I just need that bag right now. And you're going to make a purchase. Just a reminder that we do ask that you do so with the first link in the description. It's the best price for you. It helps to support our YouTube channel. It's a win-win. And if you do, thank you very much. But perhaps you're not quite sold. You want those alternative recommendations that I promised? So the backpack rack we go. All right, so let's say the GR1 26 liters not working out for you. You're not quite sure. You wanna test the waters a little bit. Alternative recommendation number one is going to be the GORUCK GR1 21 liter. This is for you if you're like, dude, I love the GORUCK GR1, but the 26 liter seems a bit big. The 21 liter, basically the same thing, just a smaller version. And to learn more about this bag, simply check the description below and you'll find a link to our full review. Alternative recommendation number two is going to be the King Kong Core Backpack. This is a good alternative for you if you kind of like that GORUCK tactical aesthetic, but you don't want to pay the GORUCK tactical price. King Kong has got a similar vibe, but like half the price. It's a great bag. And to learn more about it, take a look at the description below and you'll find a link to our full review. And alternative recommendation number three is going to be this guy right over here, which is the Built for Athletes backpack. Great option for you if you wanted the GORUCK bag to be like a gym bag, but it's not quite jimmy enough for you. It's very minimalist, right? The Built for Athletes backpack, it's a monster gym bag, tons of gym features. This brand has been exploding recently. And to find out why, just watch this video right here, where I'll break down everything you need to know about this bag. If you have any questions about any backpacks in the world, let me know in the comments below. I personally respond to every single one myself. Thank you so much for watching. My name's Aaron, this is Nomad's Nation, and we'll catch you next time.